to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Like the video you are about to watch. Ah, 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 ah. Lift your hands and wave it to Jesus. Yeshua. Last time, Yeshua. Thine is the kingdom, yours is the power. Is the glory forever, Amen. Yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, yours is the glory forever, Amen. Yours is the kingdom, yours. Is the power yours? Is the glory forever? Amen. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory forever. Amen. Yes. your hands to Jesus and begin to worship him in this place in the beauty of holiness we honor the king of kings the Lord of all we worship you in the spirit we worship you in the truth worship you in the spirit that's what we've come to do come on you we worship you in the spirit we worship you in the truth we worship you in the spirit that's what we've come to do we come into the holy of holies that's where we want to be into the holy of holies that's where we want to be I worship you in the spirit. 
I worship you in the truth. I worship you in the spirit. That's what I've come to do. That's what I've come to say. That's what I've come to see. Bless his name is part of the meeting. We Shabbat the Lord in this place, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Take a moment to worship his majesty. Elohim, Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, feel this place. in your time just a minute or two pressing in his presence call him all the names you know him to be king of kings lion of the tribe of judah the root of david the mighty god there are times you will have no words to utter so you say oh from they that love the king Son of the living God, we bless you. We are here because you are alive. You have orchestrated this convergence to change, to 
give us encounters we bless you we honor you the king of kings the lord of lords the rock of ages for in jesus name we worship The presence of God is mighty in this place. Please help those under the anointing. Help those under the anointing. You see, let me teach you something about the presence of God. It is one thing to talk about the presence of God. It is one thing to give a lecture about the presence of God. But it is another thing to host the presence of God. This one has nothing to do with being a preacher. Help that lady. I'm seeing fire resting on that lady. In the name of Jesus. Help them. Naimaka, 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 Sujada, Naimaka, 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 Sujada. Naimaka, 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 Sujada, Naimaka, 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 Sujada, we give you, we give you, we give you the highest praise. Just help those under the anointing. We are not worshiping an idol. 
this God that we serve is alive, the exalted King. We give you worship, worship, high praise. We give you worship, worship, the deepest praise. Oh, you mark us, we child. You have taken all my pain You have taken all my shame You have taken all limitations You have taken all the sorrow You have taken all the pain You have taken all the sadness you have taken all the tears You have taken all the sorrow You have taken me all Naimaka, Naimaka, Naimaka Suchada, Naimaka, Naimaka Naimaka, Naimaka, Ni Naimaka, Sujada, Naimaka, Nabaka. Munkao, Sujada, Munbaka. Sujada Don't be tired, you'll be seated shortly If this is all we do tonight, it was still worth our coming Nabaka Sujada You are not only giving him worship, you are also giving him your pain, you are also giving him your sadness. You put everything in that alabaster box. It is not only the worship you give. You bring your pain, you bring your sickness, you bring your disappointment, and you break them at his feet. For in Jesus, much less name we worship. For in Jesus name we worship hallelujah it will be a brief session tonight but listen I came to stir up a fire in this place I began to sense the power of God right from the place of stay this man the anointing is coming on him I don't know if he's a pastor help him please I wish the mocha Heaven's gates open now with understanding what the seasons Creating day and night, turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your place. Please be seated if you can. The Lord bless you. I'd like you to help me when someone is under the anointing whether inside or outside please don't wait for the ushers just help them so that they don't injure themselves we're in his presence and indeed he will do us good tonight please help those two ladies i'm just seeing fire rest upon them those ladies there you have prayed and you asked god to visit you 
you call the conference the supernatural it's not the name of a conference help that man of god i don't know who that is but there is an anointing the lord is activating ministries there are powerless ministries that god is changing that narrative this is what i'm seeing help that man near the fan i'm seeing the anointing those ministers there in the name that is above all names let that be the end of a powerless ministry do the salutation a little after now you see what God is already doing when the waters is stirred it's always good to be sensitive to what he is doing this row of ministers I'm seeing fire fall on people here help them right now I release that fire Pack that grace now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God new seasons of encounters with the Holy Spirit let your ministries change to serve Jesus to be faithful witnesses in thee. in the name of Jesus the son of the living God Acts chapter 4 You are the one that we praise You are the one we adore You give the healing and grace That our hearts always hunger Oh, our hearts always hunger Adore. You give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger. Oh, hearts always. Dress. I hand. The hand is black, but the dress. Is there someone like that? What's your name? Caleb. Where are you coming from? From Joss, sir. Joss, yes, I want sir. to pray for you. Your life is about to change. Do you believe that? I believe it, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, you call this gentleman to change his life. In the name of Jesus, Caleb, I pray for you. Let the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon you. Let it be a new season for you every limitation in your life i declare let him come i declare that it is broken right now in the name of jesus you're also caleb sir can i pray for you yes, sir. in the name of jesus christ i pray for you who is veronica 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 i'm going to pray for the sick veronica let's let's just flow as as the spirit do you know you will think because you are operating in the power of god for a long time you will get used to it i am i am as blessed as everybody who watches this happen to because the power of god is a mystery the anointing is coming on one of you right now i just saw light and when that light comes it is light that dispels darkness and it will announce a new season even in your life that the, the captivity that which has held you down it's about to give way right now you deserve the glory and the honor we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name 
You deserve the glory and the honor. Shali bas kali branda gada da da. We lift our hands in worship as we bless Your holy name. You are Majesty. We bless You. There is no one There is no one For You are great. You are the miracle. There is no one And there is no one Hallelujah. Father, I pray for every one of these people. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Every captivity, everything that represents bondage by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it give way right now. In the name of Jesus. For he called you. And in the name of Jesus, he calls you to give you rest. Find rest by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree and declare the bondage be broken right now. In the name of Jesus, be broken right now. Be broken right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be broken right now. I declare your freedom and your liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for the sick now. I want to pray for you. If you came with someone who is sick, I'd like you to just lay your hands on them. And if you are the one who is sick, lay your hands. You came with a photo, a point of contact. Please go ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, ah, my God, such a strong anointing to heal, to correct. Some of you are receiving new body parts. New body parts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I pray every spirit that is back of any infirmity by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command that you give way now. I command that you give way now in the name of Jesus for everyone who is sick be healed now be healed now migraine headaches be healed now cancer be healed now HIV be healed now every blood condition be healed now bone conditions for those of you who could not walk in the name of Jesus I command that devil to give way that you begin to walk right now in the name of Jesus every deaf ear be open now in the name of Jesus every blind eye partial blindness total blindness in the name of Jesus begin to see now every growth in your body breast lump fibroids I command them to disappear now the Lord is healing someone with a right shoulder pain someone with a right shoulder pain be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone I don't know if it's a swelling or something you have at the back of your neck just right here in the name of Jesus I command it to disappear right now there's someone your stomach is bloated uh, uh, this is some kind of I don't know what sickness that is but it's led to a, a physical bloating of your stomach in the name of Jesus I command that bloating to go down now yeah. chest pain be healed now yeah. peptic ulcer be healed now yeah. hepatitis be healed now yeah. I'm hearing I'm hearing the word meningitis in the name of Jesus be healed now Amen. 
there is a man your challenge is a reproductory challenge and this is something that has been verified by the doctors this is this has this is has affected you and you're unable your wife is unable to give birth because of that i'm praying for you right now the power of god is coming upon your body this moment in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus there's someone just your your lower abdominal region you have something that looks like a lymph node but it has been there for a long time very painful in the name of jesus i command that devil to go now the lord is showing me someone who throws up what you eat when you eat you throw it up again you eat you throw it up again it's like food does not stay in your body in the name of jesus be healed right now be healed right now someone's right ear i don't know if it's that you couldn't hear completely or partially but that right ear is open now in the name of jesus the lord is showing me a woman i think this is a mother from abel kuta from abel kuta who is sick the power of god is touching that woman right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the name manchester and the lord is saying there is a woman who is emaciating following this program right now from manchester the devil is afflicting your body this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i declare be healed right now i'm seeing a woman lift up a boy that looks like between five or six just lift the child you are watching through a smart tv and that child has autism you are lifting the child as a point of contact in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i declare healing for that child right now healing for that child right now healing for that child right now there is a gentleman you are you are you are, you are a gentleman but when you go to ease yourself you are passing out blood you are passing out blood the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ i declare healing for you by the power of the holy spirit there is somebody outside you had voices this is where it started you had voices like people were talking and from that day there has been a noise in your ears even when there is silence you know it's just a sound a discomforting sound it's a demonic thing in the name of jesus be healed right now be healed right now now whether i mention your case or not anyone here with a medical report i change that report right now i change that report right now anybody holding the photo of a loved one you are trusting god for them there are people who are connecting from national hospital connecting from federal medical centers other private hospitals in the name of jesus be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed right now be healed right now someone you could not move your fist there's a part of your fist there's there's severe pain in the name of jesus you can move it right now um there is a child again is something that is 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 it looks like a genital issue with that child I don't know if the child is here but i'm seeing that there's something that needs to be corrected with that child in the name of jesus christ i don't know what it may be but i declare that that demonic thing corrected right now i declare it corrected right now i declare it corrected right now now the lord is showing me a condition i don't know what that is but there's someone tears just starts coming out of your eyes you know how maybe if you are peeling onion and then that that irritation it's not like you are crying maybe under the anointing this is just it's a very embarrassing thing the lord is healing you right now and then the lord is healing a gentleman the lord is showing me whether it is cold or heat you are always sweating your hands are always wet you can't hold something dry for it's almost embarrassing like water literally coming out of your body I don't know if there's a medical condition for that but in the name of jesus wherever you are i bring you life and healing right now 
life and healing right now whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name now here's what i want you to do my god there's such there are several miracles i'm seeing in the spirit i want you to check yourself right now everywhere outside everywhere inside check yourself now begin to do what you could not do the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you young old male female i like you to boldly leave your seat and come and stand at my left or right those who are coming from outside and from all the overflows if it's to testify please allow them so that they come miracles are already happening hallelujah miracles are happening please make your way come and stand they'll confirm you and then we'll take some testimonies holy only only are you lord holy 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 are you lord the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 please let them come our medical people are here to help do the verifications outside there is a woman you don't stand easily until someone assists you you are outside try standing up now you will find out that you don't need an assistance the power of God has touched you right now I don't know who that person is there is a woman stand up right now and in the name of Jesus I declare healing for you please line all the people protocol help them so that they line up we'll just check them and we'll take a few testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ and there's someone you came here with pain the Lord is showing me your molar the right part of your molar severe pain very severe looks like i don't know if it's that there is a hole in it or something of that sort but right now the power of god is touching you i want you to check it you will find out that a miracle has happened to you let's celebrate those who are coming jesus is touching people it's called a miracle service okay oh come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary now before we start taking the testimonies um you don't have to stand but i want you to shout the name jesus you see sometimes let me teach you something about the way the spirit of god operates in our lives sometimes god would lead you to do things that don't make any sense at all you understand and there is a difference between you just acting in the flesh it will be very clear that you are acting in the flesh but when it is by the spirit you will see that in that which does not make sense the glory of god is even revealed and breathed because i thought that i would begin to pray you know minister deliverance for people those who are oppressed so that we we no, 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 please be careful. Just let them move back a bit. When I ask, just they can move back for what I'm about to say now. Now, the Lord just asked me that you sit down, but then I'm going to lead you to shout Jesus. And right from your seated position, there are many people that several spirits that have oppressed them just like that. I want those are the people I want you to pick them out and bring them here right now why these things happen honestly sometimes it is a it is a sign and a wonder even for me now our ushers are there well trained but you know that there's a crowd of people especially for outside people are limited so please do well if you need to assist them if someone is under the anointing close to you being delivered please do well you can help them if the ushers are exhausted you can do well and help to bring the people so we're going to pray just one shout of that name jesus and I'm seeing the power of God bringing deliverance. Altars and yokes and all kinds of things while we verify the testimonies. And by the way, as the power of God touches you, those online, let us know what Jesus is doing. Our medical people are here, well trained to be able to collate the testimonies and then we'll take them right now. Are you ready? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Father, you have given me this instruction. There are people 
who are under demonic yokes some came here for the first time some have been here and it seems like the devil and all kinds of activities of witchcraft have tied you but as you shout that name jesus in the name of jesus as it was for ezekiel he said i prophesied as i was commanded let your deliverance come right now are you ready at the count of three while you are seated one two three shout jesus the name of jesus christ i command those devils release their destinies now release their destinies now please bring them up by the power that raised christ from the dead outside inside every spirit in the name of jesus release families release destinies release destinies hallelujah hallelujah now the lord is speaking something very interesting there is a spirit that has been released that is breaking homes breaking homes that altar in the name of jesus any family please bring them out in the name of jesus i declare those yokes be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now God is opening my eyes and I'm seeing someone is like you are inside a cave there is nothing that you do that finds visibility right now the power of God is coming on you I don't know where they are but right now in the name of Jesus I declare come out of that cave now spiritually come out of that cave now come out of that cave now outside inside come out of that demonic cave now the lord is showing me the number 24 and i'm seeing people but in the realm of the spirit i'm not seeing a face just the parts of the body but no face something has covered your glory so that nobody is able to see what you carry right now the power of god is coming on i unfail you right now i unfail you right now help them please bring them out i unfail you right now by the spirit of god everything that has covered your glory in the name of jesus let it be unfailed now 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 hallelujah bring them out there is someone god is visiting you are from emo state i just saw i am o emo i don't know where that person is but in the name of jesus may the power of god right now that which was done by altars tying you down that nobody in your family rises i declare be free now 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 the spirit of delay here it comes i see an anointing i'm seeing like rain like rain spirits that have tied down people in one position many of you this will come upon you right now father everyone who has been kept at the same position right now in jesus name may that fire come upon you please bring them out go forward go forward go forward i break the chains i release you i release your children I release your family go forward in the name of Jesus hallelujah we'll take the testimony shortly the Lord is showing me a family you came here there is a spirit the moment you get married you start going down 
financially and in every state it's not just you it has happened also to the people around and the lord is saying i should rebuke that spirit it's like the moment marriage happens the people start going down father i don't know where they are but if there is anyone under the sound of my voice under that influence in the name of jesus at the count of three i declare your deliverance right now one two three be set free now be set free now be set free now the lord is showing me a contractor you're a contractor you do contracts your money has been tied down it has been a battle from one place i'm seeing you moving from office to office pleading with people to release your resources in the name of jesus if you believe this prayer i'm praying for you my god will surprise you in jesus name yeah. hallelujah dead people dead people people who have gone visiting you again and disturbing you we are not talking of the spirits of just men made perfect the spirit of hades the dead i'm praying right now there's someone every night as you sleep you keep seeing dead people i declare the power of god is coming upon you for the sake of you and your family father let there be deliverance now deliverance now untimely death manifestations of darkness tying down your life please open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare i declare that i'm loose from everything that has tied me down by the power that raised christ from the dead is someone praying i declare i i stand fast in the liberty wherewith christ has set me free i declare that i go forward i advance in the spirit i advance financially pray maritally in my career in ministry someone is praying hallelujah who is deborah but they call you deborah i think your name is deborah but they call you deborah please let's hurry up because we have to pray make sure that you you, you know what i'm saying before you come here deborah that's what they call you who is that I'm still praying. There are still a few people who will join them and I'll pray for them at once. Deborah, who is that person? It's all right. I will still pray for you. The Lord wants to open because I'm seeing a door that is opening. And the Lord is saying I should pray. And I saw that name, Deborah. D-E-B-R-A. Maybe it's a short form for Deborah. I do not know. Can I pray for you? Father, in Jesus' name, you have spoken over these people let the anointing that makes for open doors right now let that anointing rest upon you receive it right now let that anointing rest some of you it will not be up to one month it will not be up to one month god will open strange doors for you in the name of jesus christ it will not be up to one month i declare those doors open now 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 in the name of jesus christ help them the ones who came late don't worry you are in an atmosphere of the anointing i stretch my hands towards you those who came after i'm done with the prayer don't worry the power of god is setting you free right now let that grace that mantle for open doors for a new season let it rest upon you now take that grace now take that grace now in the name of jesus christ now please hear me this may not be for everybody but the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing people climb a ladder i don't know who that person is that means god is saying the current season you are in 
that it has come to an end i prophesy to you in the name of jesus everybody who should go to the next level by the power that raised christ from the dead may the unction the anointing that makes for that new level receive help them please receive it now receive it now you have come past this mountain long enough i command rise to a new level rise to a new season rise to a new season in the name of jesus christ for the bible says the path of the just is as a shining light is that in your bible and hear me if there is any barrier stopping you from rising higher i decree and declare let it clear out of the way now hallelujah now the lord is revealing something interesting for me i just had the word laughter and the power of god is coming upon people literally they're going to begin to laugh literally i decree and declare right now the bible says the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tents of the righteous therefore i declare welcome to a season of laughter welcome to a season of laughter financial laughter marital laughter career laughter oh weeping and just for a night but i prophesy to you your morning has come with it comes laughter sarah said and all who hear this will laugh with me i decree and declare again i said to you laughter even by the spirit of the living god please don't think you are just receiving mere words no there is something coming upon your life the days of crying has come to an end the days of crying has come to an end now hear me please the lord is asking me to speak to someone every time good things happen you are afraid of them because it does not last whether it's good relationships or finances is like nothing has longevity in your hand the spirit that is behind it that makes your laughter and your joy short-lived in the name of jesus i command that it gives way now that it gives way now hallelujah i'm here to pray that prayer but there are two people you are in business you are in business but for a season it looks like things have not worked right now two of them it may be more but what god says to one he says to all but i'm seeing two people they will start running out now by the anointing please hold them is a grace for speed that is coming upon them i speak over your business help them in the name of jesus the son of the living god i don't know what it is that you do i use this once as a point of contact everything that has pegged your feet at the same level right now speed take that grace right now take that grace right now speed in the name of jesus christ no retrogression no stagnancy by the power that raised christ from the dead hallelujah the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing someone you came with an x-ray report an x-ray like a, an x-ray is if there's if you find that person let me speak over that person so that we can take a few testimonies all of you who are in front here in the name of jesus the spirits of oppression i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead you let them go right now go now release their destinies now release their families now release their businesses now in the name of jesus christ out of them now out of them now for upon mount zion the bible declares there shall be liberty and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions i declare be free now hallelujah 
can i declare over open doors before we sit down he said i am he that was dead but now is alive and he holds the key of david there is a mystery in the spirit called the key of david he says with that key he opens a door that no man can shut i want to pray for you in the name of jesus there are doors that men can shut it depends on who is opening it i decree and declare anyone standing before a closed door please hear me in the name of jesus between august and september i prophesy to you enter your open doors enter that open door i speak to that door a father be open be open be open be open be open of his life will be pain in the house of laban by the time we get to genesis 32 he was wiser he dismissed his wives his children and there came to him a man again he held him and said leave me for the day break it. he said i will not let you go unless you bless me and he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no longer be called jacob for as a prince you have had power with god and prevailed thou shalt be called israel and he blessed him and touched the whole of his thigh. The Bible says, Then the sun arose, and he called the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. There are preachers who will catch fire this night. There are businessmen who will be restored this night. Hear me. There are some of you in government. God has a great destiny for you but the grace to take you there is not yet there takes more than campaign and more than this believe me uh -uh. until that grace is upon you you will only re be recycling pain there is an anointing called a king maker anointing no king anoints himself in the next two minutes I don't know how you are going to cry to God but I like you from the depth of your spirit in the next two minutes cry and say father that grace that must come upon my life to be a witness of your resurrection whether in ministry whether in business whether in politics I like you to pray from the depth of your heart Pray from the depth of your heart. Those following by television, pray. Someone pray. Mama, pray. It's time for you to carry a mantle. Man of God. The power of God is resting on people now. Please begin to bring them out. Whether you are an usher or not, just help us. Hello, Madonna. Ah. Whether you are an usher or not, if someone is under the anointing, please help bring them out and then you can return back to your seat. Please pray. That grace is falling on someone. It's time for a change of story. It's time for Saul to become Paul, even by the Spirit of the living God. Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. We all with faces unveiled, beholding him as it is in the mirror, 
we are changed from glory to glory in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now hear me please I want you to be sensitive we are getting to the point of the ministration now whether you are inside or outside the power of God comes upon someone close to you please help so that there is a reason why I ask that they bring them out it's not for sure Ubangi chika isaya bo na kirma masunanka Ubangi chika nena dauka kasunanka Ubangi chika isaya bo na kirma masunanka Ubangi chika Now I'm seeing the number 31 and the Lord is taking away the spirit of delay the power of God is coming on them I decree and declare at the count of three everyone who has suffered delay here I stand by the God of heaven in partnership with all the graces here that devil must give way now at the count of three bring them out one two three I command that spirit go now go now Go now! Delay! We come against you in the name of Jesus. Personal delays, corporate delays, institutional delays. I come by the road of a higher priesthood. I confront altars. I confront gates. In the name of Jesus Christ. hear me there are people here everything works for others until it gets to your tongue the moment it gets to your tongue mysteriously you don't seem to be able to step into certain blessings I stretch my hands let a mantle from heaven rest upon your life now Help that man, please. Rest upon your life now. Help that man, my God. Help this woman. The power of God is coming on you, madam. You will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Now, the, the Lord is ministering to me. To break the chains of untimely death there are many families here there is a track record burying loved ones before their time older parents burying the young ones I don't know who is standing here and there is an altar of death against your life but in the name of Jesus at the count of three that devil must let you go I don't care how many years for the Bible says blotting out every handwriting an ordinance that spoke against us therefore at the count of three let the spirit of death leave you one two three go 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 release your destinies now help them please release your destinies now untimely death over taraba state we command be banished in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah now please hear me I want to say something that I do not want you to find offensive there is a spirit around the middle belt that stems right up to these regions that does not allow anything that is started well 
to last beyond one or two generations you will find a responsible and successful father but there is no responsible son we almost don't have third or fourth generation anything because it looks like there is a spirit that abhors sustainability of impact i want to rebuke that spirit right now in the name of jesus for every parent here every captain of industry here you will not labor for nothing in the name of jesus if there is any family here help them that has a child male or female that is giving the problem the parents problems they have prayed and fasted and counseled some of them were sent abroad and they returned back in a way that brought pain to the parents in the name of Jesus from this meeting may the angels of the Lord's presence go and fetch those children from the hand of Satan in the name of Jesus now hear me please I believe in deliverance so there are wicked spirits that will not let people go in one word you're in when I count three I want you to shout the name Jesus please hear me any altar that is not of God it must give way now at the count of three as you shout that name I don't care how long it has been that has tied you down and your family down tonight must be your night of breakthrough father i decree and declare it was this shout that brought jericho down a city whose gate was shut the bible says nothing will go out and nothing will come in are you ready to shout jesus every spirit that has tied you by ancestry by bloodline it's time for your liberty one two three shout jesus command those devils go now help them go now go now go now go now I rebuke you release families release destinies release families release ministries release government release local governments release regions release senatorial districts we command those spirits give way now hallelujah 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 praise the name of the Lord now please listen to me I'm about to pray for the sick it is a terrible thing to come from a background where there is a legal access to powers of darkness that can hold sway your life and rubbish you and you are not able to manifest destiny Let me tell you the truth. Some of you who are in government, it's not because you are here. I want you to mark what happens to you tonight. Believe me, your lives will change in a way that will surprise you. It is true. Hallelujah. Let me pray for the sick now. Hear me. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. I am a product of the healing ministry of Jesus all those who have come out by the spirit i declare the legal hold of satan over them i stand in agreement and we stand as the church of the lord jesus christ you are released now from every captivity for the bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered i declare your release now i declare your release now hallelujah now please hear me I want you to lay your hand anywhere you are trusting God for healing right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest I want to pray for you I believe in the power of God Jesus is real 
He really is. He's alive. I'm about to pray for you now. All those outside and then those watching by television from any and every nation, lay your hands right where and if you are with a sick person, maybe in a hospital, right now I want you to lay your hands. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? You are the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? Jesus, creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want to pray now. Most sicknesses are caused by spirits beyond the medical diagnosis. There are wicked spirits that plague human beings. Listen, hold on please. Do you know why healing is important? I will tell you why. Healing is important because according to the law of creation, every human is only given one body per lifetime. You are not given two bodies per lifetime. You have only one body that is a legitimate host to you the spirit man and anytime that body is deteriorating it is death making a proposal to your life there is a requisite level of health that the body must have for the spirit to remain if the body degenerates and deteriorates beyond that threshold level the spirit will have to live in the event you call death so every time god brings healing it is his proposal to your longevity and health so that you remain and have a body that legitimizes you to operate in this side of his kingdom healing therefore is more than a demonstration of power from a man of god healing is an expression of god's love and god's mercy and his determination to see you continue and remain until your course on earth is over now you can receive knowing what you are receiving please lay your hands and i pray for you when i shout the name of jesus i want you to agree with me now hear me we may not have all the time but then we may just take the first five testimonies just to honor jesus there are dramatic miracles that will happen right now that have even already happened I'm going to pray as I rebuke those spirits I'm going to give you room to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you I want you to just come and stand in front here or here we'll have a few of the pastors who will take you we'll take one or two testimonies and then we'll do a prayer on the request and then just speak over Taraba and we're done it will be a very quick walk hallelujah lay your hands there and let's pray now Please lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now hear me. There is a man who is going to shout loud under the anointing. The moment that happens, the power of God to heal will begin to move. These are the leadings of the Holy Spirit. These are not things, they are not fabrications of a man. It's just the instruction God is giving me. A gentleman, a strong anointing. Now is coming upon him. And at that shout, the power of God is going to begin to... Now I can begin to pray. Mm. I decree and declare right now. Every devil behind sicknesses and infirmities help them please my god i come against you in the name of he who died and rose again and i declare 
depart from the bodies of God's people now depart from the bodies of God's people now I decree and declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name blind eyes I command you to be open now deaf ears I command you to be open now those who came here with crutches and could not walk lift it up and begin to walk now in the name of Jesus Christ anybody who was brought on a stretcher life to your body right now in the name of Jesus Christ HIV be healed now cancer be healed now sugar diabetes be healed now all kinds of blood related diseases be cleansed now in the name of Jesus there is a gentleman that God is healing you have something like a growth around your neck the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me a lady or a woman you have suffered pile pile for a very long time the power of God is touching you right now heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus there are many people here I see according to my visions that have high blood pressure in Jesus name we command it to go down now there is a woman the Lord is showing me I don't know what is your medical diagnosis but they stopped you from eating salt they said you should not eat salt I don't know who that person is I bring the life and the power of Jesus to you right now there's someone you don't hear very well or is it completely you don't hear with your right ear the power of God is touching you now in the name of Jesus Christ lower back pain I declare be healed now there's someone your hands you're not able to move your fingers freely there's excruciating pain the power of God is resting upon you now now every other issue whether I mentioned it or not someone just right here just where I'm touching there's severe pain that you've had there the power of God is touching you right now there is someone God is showing me you are a man of God when you stand on the stage to preach the moment you start shouting you start feeling dizzy almost as if you are losing breath it's a demonic thing be healed right now now whether I mention your issue or not I decree and declare be healed now outside be healed now online be healed now within the auditorium be healed now even for your family members scattered all around Taraba and the nations may the healing power of Jesus touch them right where they are in the in my life be glorified be glorified in my life Lord be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. Thank you get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. You get the glory. You get the glory. You get the praise. You get the praise. So in my life. Glorified, be glorified. Be glorified.
what you are singing is not a special number. You are prophesying Galatians 1.24. That's what you just sang. And they glorified God in me. That you are ready to exalt Jesus. In Koinonia, we call it Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified. This is that kingdom come agenda. It's time to talk, stop playing church. It's time to just stop wasting time. The king's business requires haste. Are we together? I've shared a number of things tonight that will establish three prayer points and then I speak over your life and we're done for the night. Prayer point number one. Lord, I obtain grace to be an effective witness. More than a preacher. Go ahead and pray. More than just my spiritual excellence. I obtain grace. Go ahead and pray. Someone is praying. Shali praske de bala hashkada banda kosia. Embra katos kalika prakateka bala katos kadia. Are there people of prayer in Kenya? Shalenda ke prakatos kalika prakatos kaliata. Preachers pray. Businessmen pray. It's time for a mighty move of the spirit. In and across Kenya, in and across East Africa, go ahead and pray. I obtain grace to be an effective witness as that revival fire comes, is the fire that makes me a witness. Go ahead and pray. Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm about to pray over your life please hear me my God such a strong anointing here now please hear me just a few minutes tomorrow night by the grace of God will be a miracle service where we'll have the time dedicated to minister to the needs of God's people but right now 
what is happening tonight is an ignition there are many of you who have come and there are graces that you must partake of are we together in few minutes I want that grace to fall upon you now for those who that grace will fall upon like we did in the afternoon please may I request if you can to just bring them here and I speak over their lives and we just move prophetically my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands my intercession that mantle is coming on many people the grace to pray the grace to see the grace to take up the burden of nations I stretch my hands now let that fire fall at the count of three one two my god three take that grace now take that anointing now take that grace now spring of more well Prophetic wells. I unlock them by the Spirit. Prophetic wells. The hearing and the seeing eyes. Let it be released upon you now. Dimensions of prayer. Dimensions of fasting. Prayer groups arise. Prayer chains arise. The spirit of Elijah that empowers you to pray revival. May that grace come upon you now. Someone open your mouth and begin to pray. Madonna 
person again. I don't know whether it's at the back. I don't know someone is like you couldn't walk well. There's a lot of miracles there. Look at this. Look at this. Please don't force them. Don't force them. It is a miracle you will know. Anyone, please, listen. Someone talk to them. Don't put pressure on anyone, please. We are not faking it here. If they are yet to be touched, just be patient with them. Please. There's a lot of miracles. Look at. Look at this. Look at this.
second accident. I have a fracture. Oh, she had a fracture. No, you don't need to lift it. Look at this. Ca can you take this away for one minute, please? We're wrapping up, but can you shift this for me? Someone come help him, please. Just shift this a bit. She had an accident and a fracture. You don't need to lift everything, madam. Look at this. You look at her legs and you will see a surgery happen. And a hip joint. But right now, let the devil see what has happened to you. metal plate all the way down there's a metal plate on your legs now yes and the doctor said that i could not put weight on this side because of the, the doctor said she couldn't stand this way so i haven't been able to walk since last year without these things and today look at me jesus help me walk look i'm not even limping Only you can do what no man can do. Only you can say what no man can say. Only you are able what no man can do. Only you can say what no man can say. Look at this gentleman. How long, sir? Eight months. What happened to you? And what happened? And I fell. My spine br got broken. His spine got broken. He's a police officer. They know you here. Where do you live? I live in Mbakasi. But I... Is there a place like that? Yes. But I come from Oloitoktok. Um, I... that, that's where I live. I was bedridden for four months. You were bedridden for four months. Let the devil see you now. Walk. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mama is dancing. Mama is dancing. How long has this been? It's been about uh, six weeks. Okay. What happened to you? I fell. I had a fracture. I I was. Look at this. Yeah. I had at surgery. This. I came limping. With right now. What of right now? Walk. Says, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, you are the king, there is none other. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Listen, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, you are the king, there is none other. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Just hold them. 
them and bring them so they don't injure themselves. Three people. Help them, please, so they don't injure themselves. The power of God is coming upon them right now. Listen, I'm going to pray one prayer. I just saw an eagle. The grace for speed. I'm seeing the number 71. That anointing is coming on people. And some of them will start running. Please, whether you are hushed or not, hold them so they don't injure themselves. Right now, that grace for speed. Take that grace now. Take that grace, don't go. Take that grace now. Jesus their healings are permanent please look at me I want you to believe miracles are real because you know unfortunately people have done all kinds of things in the body of Christ and so most times people just believe that everything that happens it, no there are people who fear God and if you're a man of God here and you're part of some of this drama and this nonsense that happens around Africa leave the you don't there's no need faking what can be real you can be genuinely anointed by the spirit of god it says how god anointed jesus with the holy ghost and with power please do not miss tomorrow's service in the name of jesus christ may i request at the permission of your pastor that whilst coming tomorrow i want you to write out everything that must live your life every challenge at all for your loved ones who cannot make it i want you to please encourage them and those who are watching by way of television here in kenya east africa across africa or the globe by whatever platform i want you to know that you can participate you can send in your prayer request and i'm going to be agreeing with you here hallelujah tomorrow by the grace of god we are going to do something prophetic here in the course of the ministration, I'm going to be pleading with the fathers of the land. We are going to stand here as United Kenya and we are going to swing the tulip gates of Kenya to open Hita and Tita, to be open for revival, to be open for advancement, and that every spirit that does not name the name of Christ, we are announcing their exodus out of this land. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have to wrap up. For those of you who are here, we declare you are blessed. For everyone here, we declare you are blessed. As you return back home, you return in peace and you are led forth in joy. Fresh fire over your spiritual life. A renewed appetite for spiritual things. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that came here with you, that represents a platform or a basis for more prayer point number one are you ready to pray say in the name of Jesus Amen. please shout it loud and clear in the name of Jesus Amen. I decree and declare Amen. that from this day forward Amen. I make reasonable progress Amen. go ahead and pray open your mouth and begin to pray by the power of the Holy Spirit someone is praying everywhere in the name of Jesus, I make reasonable progress. Reasonable progress. The Bible says he went forward, he advanced until the Philistines envied him. He began to prosper and to go forward. In the name of Jesus from this day, someone pray as you are declaring so it will become in your life. I make progress. Koinonia makes progress. In the name of Jesus. 
supernatural progress by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah shout he say in the name of jesus everything required for my excelling in this new season i receive it by faith go ahead and pray everything needed connections resources spiritual intelligence access to the hearts of kings everything required for your excelling someone pray everything required man of god pray politician pray businessman pray and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things that you will abound in every good work i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ everything needed for my excelling in this new season hallelujah are you tired of praying say in the name of jesus every person and every platform anointed to announce me in this season i decree and declare it must work in my favor go ahead and pray every person and every platform they will walk in my favor announcing the good tidings of jesus the bible says when jesus was born there were there was a star that announced his arrival every person and every platform that should announce you announce your business announce the investment of the spirit upon your life to your world activates them by prayer in the name of jesus christ hallelujah say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the lord of peace himself will give me peace always and by all means lift your voice and pray the giver of peace trouble is far from your life someone is declaring as we get into the ember months trouble is far from my life the god of peace himself is granting me peace always peace in the name of jesus final prayer point and then we'll pray over your request hallelujah are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus the mantle for favor rest upon my life the mantle of honor rest upon my life go ahead and pray decree and declare the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life someone is praying rest upon my life favor and honor rest upon my life for the sake of his majesty rest upon my life rest upon my life favor honor at the gates favor honor with gatekeepers with captains of industry in politics in government in career in ministry someone pray is a serious prayer point the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life for in jesus name we pray please stretch your hands towards the altar and begin to declare over the request that you wrote now there are things you may not be able to tell everybody but if you are yet to write you're yet to bring your requ your request please bring it let's have any ones left please stretch your hands and begin to declare the bible says in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god someone is praying go ahead and declare go ahead and declare 
in the name of Jesus go ahead and declare someone is praying people are already receiving answers in the name of Jesus Christ go ahead and declare over this prayer request I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit someone is praying this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end for someone declare prophetically I close every negative door I open every door blessing favor lifting in the name of Jesus please if, if there are still some let's let's have them so that we can pray don't be tired you are declaring by miracle service September you are only returning with Thanksgiving for in Jesus' name we pray. Shout a loud Amen. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit every Pharaoh and every king that must send for you even if they are hedonistic the king that sent for Joseph was not a believing king but he still sent for him I don't care where the quotas are provided it is directed by God whoever must send for you for your rising I declare they send for you now Everything you have started and yet not been able to complete by the power that raised Christ from the dead we are getting into September September is the ninth month I decree and declare may this be the month where you give birth supernaturally that which has been locked up in your spirit in the name of Jesus let me pray for everyone in ministry every pastor everyone serving the Lord anything that represents shame and reproach in your ministry in the name of Jesus it dies permanently now I feel a strong stirring in my spirit to pray over families in the name of Jesus I bow my knees to the Lord of heaven any family here going through storms any family here that has been asking Lord where are you in the name of Jesus may my God and your God answer speedily answer speedily whoever has interrupted your helper and stopped them from coming to you in the name of Jesus anyone who has come in the spirit of Sambalat and Tobias to stop what you are building from finishing I clear them out of the way now and whoever said where is your God may your testimony this week be the answer may your testimony this week be the answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah let me pray for those who are in Abuja here but I'm going to pray prophetically for everyone listen to me God is the God of portions any family that is yet to be structurally established I'm praying for you I want you to believe it in the name of Jesus the resources and the access for God to give you your own place he called it Rehoboth he said for God has given my I, my own space where your land is in this city or in this nation and where the resources for God to honor you with structural establishment to give you the focus to live destiny with dignity I release that grace upon you now everyone jobless by miracle service September return with your employment letter every business that is dying or going down you come back to life now 
hear me in the name of jesus even though i know that around our nation things seem very tight when you look at things physically it looks like things are not lining up but i want to place a mark of exemption upon you i decree and declare please hear me by the power that raised christ from the dead when men say there is a casting down let it be minus you i say it again let it be minus you in the name of jesus christ any demonic programming to kidnap you or any of your loved one please receive this prayer whether by road whether in the air as we get into this ember month by the power that raised christ from the dead so as long as you're on the road no devil will stop you to oppress you <laughs> hallelujah the poverty in the land seems to have multiplied evil people now boggle people's homes boggle people's cars and steal things sometimes petty things because they feel they want to make ends meet in the name of jesus i decree and declare your home your children and all who are connected to you they are safe even as we enter the ember months in the name of jesus in one minute i know that our time is gone but as a family of faith i want us to pray for nigeria in one minute lord stepping over this nation go ahead and pray in one minute this is the only nation that we have i'd like you to pray father in the name of jesus the national anthem says guide our leaders right help our youth the truth to know in love and honesty to grow go ahead and pray father in the name of jesus we decree and declare let things work in this nation pray for our universities pray for the asu strike pray for the security situation pray for the election coming pray for everything lord establish your purposes in this nation we cry and we decree and declare that the reign of darkness comes to an end harassment of lives and properties come to an end we take responsibility as the church of the lord jesus christ and we contribute our quota to pray for our nation we pray for the peace of nigeria we prosper because we love it in the name of jesus christ in jesus name i pray in jesus name i pray finally let me pray over your spiritual life we are first a people who are spiritual and our work with god our spiritual understanding the character of the christ in us is priority no matter what else we have if our spirituality is troubled then we're in trouble are we together let me remind you that in order of priority your relationship with god your passion for his presence your passion for prayer your passion for fasting your passion for the word of god your passion for the house of god these are biblical indices that measure your spiritual health and if at any point in your life these indices fall or falter it means something is wrong in as much as i've spoken over every other area of your life it is important that your spiritual fire remains strong that you are spiritually vibrant and alive are we together whether you buy cars or houses if you are going down spiritually you are not growing in knowledge this is why week after week we gather every meeting is a miracle service but we dedicate time the last um, sunday of every month to be able to minister to the needs of people but it is important that you submit yourself to gain thorough spiritual understanding i pray for you the fire that is upon your altar will not go down i pray for you anyone suffering from spiritual laziness you've seen that the last one month the last few weeks your prayer life has gone down no grace to fast no grace to pray in the name of jesus i declare be free from that oppression i pray for you from tonight as you open your bible let light come from scripture in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you may your life even your ministry let it be characterized with signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ any wrong relationship around your life that is impeding your spiritual growth i cut you away from it permanently 
and i i reintroduce godly people into your life in the name of jesus i decree and declare beginning from tonight let it be a week of supernatural encounters angelic encounters encounters with jesus christ encounters with the light from the word for in jesus name we pray thank you very much for the sacrifice of your time and your presence we're wrapping up please let's be my movie now let me encourage you please and please once you leave there are so many people god is for us and if our god is for us then who could ever stop us and if our god is with us one prayer point shout it loud and clear say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that tonight is my night go ahead and begin to pray I decree and declare that which makes for my rising that which makes for my lifting in the mighty name of Jesus who is the son of the living God someone pray that mantle, that unction, that grace that must rest upon me, I receive by faith. Your sick in your body begin to pray. Hallelujah. Don't worry if you're under the anointing, just leave them. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him Adonai, kingdom come, thy will be done. In Kenya, Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed. Now, please hear me. There are so many people here and the ushers are limited. So when I ask you to bring those under the anointing, please, whether you are an usher or not, just help those under the anointing close to you so they don't injure themselves. And if you have to help bring them out, just bring them out gently and then you return back to your seat. Are you ready now? I want to rebuke every unclean spirit. There are spirits that have tied down men and destinies tied down families i have come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god for the bible says upon mount zion it says there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possession at the count of three i'm going to ask you to shout the name jesus that name that has been exalted above every other name and as you shout that name every spirit that is not of the Christ responsible for infirmities must give way Kenya are you ready father I decree and declare over Kenya and over everyone here spirits of ancestry yokes of darkness at the count of three let God's people go are you ready to shout one two Three, shout Jesus. I command every spirit, go now. I command every devil by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Yokes, be broken. Please bring them out quickly. Yokes, be broken. Ordinances, covenants of ancestry by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken be broken demonic patterns that have tied down families demonic patterns that have tied down destinies we bring the message of deliverance over kenya 
in the name of Jesus every spirit spying upon the liberty of God's people be free now be free now be free now for the Bible says blotting out every handwriting and ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross while praying I prayed yesterday and the Lord is asking me to pray the same prayer the spirit of delay that has tied down destinies right now at the count of three may that anointing bring you liberty wherever you are father bring deliverance I prophesy speed 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 go ahead and begin to pray I declare my liberty from every delay everything that has tied me down by the power that is in the name of Jesus is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by hear me the spirit that prohibits people from making progress he said I desire to come to you once and again but Satan hindered us in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God I declare be delivered now hindering churches from rising be delivered now hindering businesses from rising be delivered now he said son of man what seest thou and he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted themselves against Israel against Jerusalem and against Judah so that no man did lift up his head he said what I have sent carpenters four carpenters I come as a privileged carpenter in the name of Jesus no matter how long the oppression has been be delivered now hallelujah hallelujah now please hear me shortly before I begin to pray for the sick the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing a door and I'm seeing a padlock on it and the Lord is telling me this is a representation of many people's destinies the Lord is asking me to prophesy that opening I'm going to pray now and the power of God will come upon you I speak to every closed door every closed destiny by the apostolic and the prophetic in the name of he who died and rose again a father be open either and Tita. a father be open doors be open gates be open doors be open gates be open hallelujah for all who have come out by the spirit this is not just some Pentecostal charismatic jamboree God is in the business of releasing people those of you in front here I command the spirits that have oppressed you in the name of Jesus let them go now go 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 out of their lives in the name of Jesus we bring liberty for where the spirit of the Lord is the Bible declares that there is liberty. Kenya, let me prophesy to you. Everything that was lost 
shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost everything that was stolen come on prophesy everything that was lost Personalize that prophecy. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. We bring liberty in the name of Jesus. Now I'm about to pray for the sick, but in Jesus' name, if you came here carrying any bracelet or any crutch or anything and you could not walk in the name of Jesus lift it up now and walk lift it up now and walk by the power that raised Christ from the dead lift it up now and walk please don't force anybody lift it up now make sure they are walking don't put pressure on anyone in the name of Jesus I release miracles right now everywhere miracles right now everywhere miracles right now everywhere now listen listen ladies and gentlemen I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing right now lay your hands any part of your body you're trusting God for healing lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest I'm about to pray for you now watch this when these people are fine they can return back to their seat to clear the way here's what I want you to do please let me have maybe two pastors here and two pastors here we are going to pray and the moment the power of God touches you I'm going to ask you to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened will give you room to run and come here a few pastors will examine you and then will take a few testimonies may I again request that those who are helping me with the flags please if you do get the flags and you're ready let's have it so that we'll drop it here we're about to do something prophetic over Kenya hallelujah praise God now lay your hands I'm going to pray for you right now I believe in the healing power of Jesus miracles are already happening What is that? It's like a miracle has happened there. Give Jesus praise. Now please lay your hands. Let's walk with time. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no Walk in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands here. I want to pray for you. A miracle happened. Look at this. Look at this. Bring them up here. You are great. You do miracles.
please listen another miracle there there's another miracle there remember what I taught you listen someone has been healed please don't put pressure on anyone if they are not strong and they cannot walk please don't force them pastors help them we are not faking it here please don't put pressure on anyone get a seat for them please just bring those who have been fully healed that we can testify don't put pressure on anyone please please don't put pressure on anyone who cannot walk please pastors please ensure that please look at this someone is walking there someone is walking there come on Kenya Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The sinners and angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Please lay your hands let me pray those who have been healed from wheelchairs and crutches are not the only ones sick so we are going to be praying right now look at this another miracle has happened my God look at this ladies and gentlemen this right here is a statement from heaven is more than saying a man is anointed no joshua selman is too small a reason for this greater than a man this is a revelation of the love of jesus that he's alive alive indeed lay your hands let me pray for you now agree with me in the name of jesus can you shout a loud amen? amen in the name of Jesus amen. I want to release miracles now in the name of Jesus amen. every devil of infirmity amen. I command that you leave God's people now amen. leave God's people now amen. hallelujah in the name of Jesus every blind eyes be open now look at this this is for who look at this I remember you remember seeing this in TL Osborne's crusades where a leg will grow out supernaturally amazing what God can do we are praying every blood condition be healed now HIV be healed now cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every deaf ear be open now every lump breast lumps I command that you disappear now peptic ulcer be healed now the Lord is showing me someone you have a severe back pain around your lumbar area the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus someone you came here you're not completely blind but you could not see well with your right eye check it now I command that eye to be opened now the Lord is showing me someone you couldn't lift your hand. I don't know if it's stroke or something. Check yourself now. I command those hands to be released now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, hear me. 
the Lord is showing me at least four people I'm seeing growth in your stomach something that looks like fibroids in the name of Jesus I command that it dissolves and disappears now high blood pressure it goes down now in the name of Jesus Christ high blood pressure goes down now please can we have pastors to help them please don't force anyone please if they are not yet strong just give them a seat to sit down please don't put pressure on anyone please hallelujah place your hand I'm praying for you there's someone your I don't know it looks like your tie it's like you have a problem with it I don't know what the problem is but in the name of Jesus I declare may the power of God touch you right now anyone with stroke be healed now in the name of Jesus there is someone you could not smell I don't know it's like you lost your sense of smell I command that it be restored now in the name of Jesus there are apostles. I'm speaking to you by the spirit of grace this is why I came ordinary people please help them ushers help them help that lady if they are running you don't come out on your own father i decree and declare by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic there are men and women no 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 please don't come out on your own this is the power of god those under the anointing i want you to bring them out father all across this place there are men and women who have gone through seasons in the spirit and they are in a season where they are about to be revealed right now let that fire like it was in the days of T.L. Osborne Maurice Saruno in the name of Jesus let there be a reignition right now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus are you ready Kenya one two three shout Jesus let the fire fall apostolic fire the grace of the teacher the reveal of mystery the grace of the prophet was you pray I like you to pray one prayer Lord purify your church and elevate your church to a new spiritual dimension go ahead and pray Elijah. 
We are still praying. We are going to pray that later in the evening. Don't miss the evening session. But I want to pray. I'm seeing a crown on the heads of many people. And this is grace and the destiny for government and leadership. I decree and declare. I don't know where you are. But across this crowd. And even watching by television and in your homes. May that grace rest upon you now. Help them please. May that grace rest upon you now. Hallelujah. You are a man of God here. You are a woman of God here. The grace to be accurate in dispensing the truth of God's word for the sake of God's people. Carry that grace now. Carry that grace now. Hear me. The Bible says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, it says, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and to run with perseverance the race that is set before us. Let me give you a last prayer point. Don't be distracted. Father, everything that has taken your place in my life, I dethrone it right now. Go ahead and pray. Lust, pride, flesh, self-aggrandizement. I dethrone it right now. And I declare Jesus revealed, Jesus glorified over Kenya. Jesus revealed, Jesus glorified over every church. Someone pray. Let the refiner's fire sweep across every assembly. Sweep across leadership. Sweep across business. In the name of Jesus. Now please hear me. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Please listen to me. Now listen to me. Before the evening session. If you can. I like you to please. At the permission of your pastor. I preached a message two weeks ago. Called the purified church. Please, I want you, you can go on our platform. I want you to get that message and if you can listen to it before the evening session. There I listed the six or seven deadly sins that God wants to remove from the church. It is not from a standpoint of self-righteousness and condemnation. I listed a number of them. Immorality, number one. Number two was... The sin of the loss for money and material things. Number three was the sin of witchcraft and extra biblical practices. Number four was the sin of pride, vainglory, and self centeredness. Number five was the sin of competition, comparison, competition. Number six was the sin of imbalance not communicating the whole counsel of God. I want you to go and listen to it so that the area that applies to you, you will begin to pray and say, Lord, purge me. If yours is immorality, whether as a man of God or as someone in the house of God, you submit to that refining fire. If yours is lost for money and material things, until the church allows herself to be purified, there is a glory that cannot be seen. He said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal the land. I pray for all who are out here in the name of Jesus, the grace that has rested upon you. I decree and declare that grace will speak. 
even from now let that refiner's fire begin to speak from now let that refiner's fire begin to speak from now begin to speak from now let the killings of the spirit continue the pruning of flesh until you become that vessel of honor in the name of Jesus Christ for in Jesus name we pray I declare the blessing of heaven upon you and I declare grace for you as you endure even for the sessions that we have later in the evening and in the name of Jesus may this be a moment of encounter for you you go from glory to glory and grace to grace the church in Kenya will rise to a new dimension there is no going down in Jesus name I pray if we confess our sin the Bible says God is faithful and just to forgive us we are going to cry and say Lord forgive me for the corruption that has motivated what I do that I call ministry great or small I repent go ahead and pray let it be from the depth of your heart let it be from the depth of your heart let it be from the depth of your heart about you it's all about you it's all about you Jesus it's all about you it's all about you it's all about you Jesus help me oh God someone is praying cast that golden crown and cry to your maker Lord touch my motive what has led me to pray what has led me to fast what has led me to study the Bible what has led me to listen to messages online am I just accumulating revelation so that I will be a man of God with power or do I truly love Jesus what is the motivation behind my evangelism is it just more members or to see the heart of the father pleased why are we organizing the conferences that we organize why are we organizing the conventions why are we organizing church service midweek service prayer meetings what are we really looking for hallelujah just one more minute we're wrapping up I love you Lord it's an old song and I lift my hands to worship you oh my soul rejoice take joy my King in what you hear let it be a sweet sweet sound in the name of Jesus father this is a moment of sober reflection a moment of sincere admitter that there are idols in our hearts and oftentimes we found ourselves being motivated by other things other than our love for Jesus and our desire to see him lifted but after this morning service we pray that you are lifted in our hearts in the name of Jesus it is our prayer oh God that you be lifted above all other God we lay our crown and worship all oh, glorious one we praise your name we lay our crown and sing it for the last time all oh, glorious God Oh, 
glorious God we praise your name we lay your crown there are people who are determined there are people who are given to continuous improvement you go right now to my room and check my laptop there is a message i'm listening to and there are things i'm doing concerning myself once i'm done with my session i go back and i will continue working on myself before the evening that i have come for a program is not an excuse it is not luck it is not just there is a place for diligence are we together we have to pray. Come na na kane, come na na kane, come na na kane, ya Yesu, come Yeshua, Hamashia, come na na kane, Yeshua, Hamashia. Come in, na na kane. 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 Yeshua, Hamashia. Come in, na na kane. Yeshua. Two more times with faith in your heart. Last time now with faith in your heart. Can we take two prayer points? Will that be fine? Prayer point number one. Lord, in my lifetime, I must become a voice for your majesty. Lift your voice and pray. In my lifetime. Go ahead and pray. Someone is declaring. Make it a commitment and turn it into a prayer. In my lifetime, I must become a voice. In the area you have called me to function, in career i must become a voice an influence in ministry not for the gratification of the flesh but for your majesty someone pray in the name of jesus i make a decision and i make a covenant with my destiny I must become a voice politically I must become a voice in ministry I must become a voice financially I must become a voice as far as kingdom exploits is concerned no excuses in the name of Jesus I obtain grace In Jesus name last prayer point the Bible says no man intending to build a house and a tower will not first sit down and count the cost whether he has what it takes to finish it hallelujah I have shared with you a few of the demands it is not enough to just claim things you must be willing to responsibly 
work in partnership with the word of god and the ministry of the holy spirit to subscribe to the demands demand number one is the demand of knowing god having an experience with god like we said yesterday demand number two is the demand of transformation exploring another horizon higher than your cultural context higher than the context of status quo and then number three to be valuable extremely valuable not gifted being gifted does not necessarily translate to being valuable you can be gifted potentially value talks of the refined version of you hallelujah some of you may need to embrace this bible and begin to settle down create a system and a routine for your spiritual growth some of you may need to go to a bookstore around or to order online if you can or get together materials from minds brilliant minds who have paid their price to explore you are a man of god here may i challenge you that it takes more than good preaching to be able to run a ministry successfully learn leadership learn administration learn finances learn diplomacy as a man of god you will be interacting with people from the political space the judicial space you must understand their language and sustain the intelligence to be able to relate with people you must understand psychology people will not come and trust you with their lives and submit to your leadership when they see you as a confused individual even though well-meaning it's time to shake off this mediocrity and take away excuses and make up our minds that i will be exceptional by the grace and the spirit of god is someone ready to pray father all that it takes for me to be a voice to my generation i obtain grace to walk in it go ahead and pray go ahead and pray the discipline to pray the discipline to fast the discipline to study scripture until i build my spiritual capacity i obtain grace from god in the name of jesus someone is praying lord the requisite level of exposure that i need to lift me beyond the horizon of culture to lift me beyond the horizon of my local environment to lift me beyond the horizon of status quo I obtain grace, I obtain grace, I obtain grace. Finally pray for the grace to refine your value. Lord, I'm tired of being jealous. I'm tired of fighting people with bitter envy. I'm tired of a life of competition. I obtain grace, I obtain grace to work on myself, to work on my gift, to work on my value until I'm able to serve kings with honor. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. How many of you believe in the power of answered prayers? The Bible says, Unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come. So may I request, if you are not tired those who are already standing keep standing those sitting please sit let's honor them just be sure to stretch your hand whether you are sitting or standing stretch your hand prophetically as we pray over the request go ahead declare as you are stretching your hands this is the most accurate representation of your desires and the bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it if we still have some of the requests, please bring them very quickly. We're about to pray. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Stretch your hands. I'm going to bow my knees and pray over the requests and ask the Lord himself to visit Taraba. You love Taraba and you love everybody here. Please, I'd like you to pray in one minute.
in the name of Jesus shout a believing amen, amen. father I stand in agreement with every man and woman of God in this place and under this corporate anointing we declare every request that has been dropped before this altar let it be turned to a testimony let it be turned to a testimony let it be turned to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ hear me every human agent who must come in partnership with God for this request to be answered we decree and declare may they come forth for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ and anyone who says over his dead body for this request to be answered in the name of Jesus Christ the earth will open and swallow them I stand prophetically upon this request anything that has stood upon you and brought you pain and tears this night here in Taraba under the influence of the grace that is upon this assembly and this ministry and end comes to it now Taraba lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors I speak to the north the south and the east of Taraba every blood sucking spirit whether as terrorism whether as manipulations of darkness the earth opens to swallow them now I decree and I prophesy there must be peace in Taraba there must be progress in Taraba there must be advancement in Taraba we use his excellency as a point of contact and all the members of cabinet to pray for all those who are serving in whatever capacity in the name of Jesus on account of this program tonight you will not fail I pray for every home here represented in the name of Jesus the sound of mourning and shame comes to an end we pray for every church that names the name of Christ in Taraba even though this is through the platform of the Anglican communion but they have so graciously opened up their hearts to include everyone here therefore I declare every altar in Taraba that preaches the name of Christ let it be on fire for Jesus prophetically we attract the attention of investors both local and international to Taraba in the name of Jesus hear me if there is anything planted in your soil to destroy the prophetic destiny of this state I stand by the privilege of priesthood in the name of Jesus it is hereby nullified the spirit of untimely death that keeps killing the youth male and female that evil report comes to an end now hear me I pray for every elderly person here as a point of contact to our elders in Taraba anybody from 60 years above we enter a covenant of life for the elderly in Taraba there will be no longer untimely death in the name of Jesus let me pray for the youth in the name of Jesus right from Taraba we export you as agents of change go across the globe educationally politically in ministry in business become captains of industry in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of cultism prostitution moral decadence we bury permanently over Taraba 
finally I decree and declare that by reason of this conference let Taraba become a light and a beacon even across the entire north and the nation in the name of Jesus Christ we pray all this in the name of the Father in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit turn to someone by your left and right and congratulate them this is a new me it's a new Taraba it's a new season of the supernatural in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah beginning from today may that grace rest upon you now I prophesy upon your life even by the power of the Holy Spirit the power that is derived from the word the power that is derived from the ministry of the Holy Spirit let it begin to speak practically in your life from today practically in your life from today practically in your life from today hear me in the name of Jesus from today as you declare it so you will see I say it again as you declare it so you will see it the centurion said for I am a man under authority having soldiers here and there I say to one go and he goeth to one come and he cometh from today whatever you say go to it must go and whatever you call to come it must come and hear me for many of you who have been calling things and they have refused to come I join my faith with you and I call it to your life now and everything you have you have told to go and it has refused to go by the power that raised Christ from the dead we drive it permanently from you from today whoever you bless is blessed whatever you bless is blessed whatever you touch is blessed I pray for every business here no more going down every home here no more backwardness every spiritual life here upward and forward only in the name of Jesus Christ from today no enchantment and divination against your life will survive and hear me if there be anything that has authorized Satan over and against your life in the name of Jesus we bring him and his cohorts under your feet thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday I prophesy to you anybody that says over your dead body the ground will open and swallow them anywhere your name is taken it shall not stand in the name of Jesus hear me the power to create your possibilities and the power to manifest those possibilities receive it right now the power to correct anomalies and the power to command restoration receive it now in the name of Jesus and by the privilege of priesthood I empower you this night go and correct every wrong thing in your life go and correct every wrong thing financially maritally spiritually intellectually in your health in the name of Jesus Christ hear me from tonight anything you see that is inconsistent with what is written even if it's what you saw or what you heard or what you dreamt or what was told you I empower you to change it with the written word hear me anyone here who is a victim of I heard prophecy anyone who is a victim of I saw visions anyone who is a victim of they told me altered perceptions I change it now by the power of it is written anyone who has seen you dying I speak to you you will leave anyone who has seen you poor 
I speak to you, you must prosper. Anyone who has said your territory will be hostile to you, I prophesy over you, for you there is a lifting up. Favor rests upon you. The dominion power of the spirit rests upon you. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you precious people of God the spirit of revelation that gives you knowledge and understanding drawing light out of scripture and experiences receive that grace now no more study of the Bible without revelation high level spiritual illumination hear me by this dominion power anywhere you are supposed to be called in this season for good news and for your rising I don't care how long it has been. I declare they must identify you and lift you. Hear me. I'm speaking to the body of Christ, but particularly those who are connected to this grace. From today, the grace for influence, the grace for dominion, the grace to be exalted above nations and territories. I release that grace of help them. I release that grace upon you now. You will be distinguished in such a spectacular way. I want you to believe what I'm telling you. Nations will honor you. Governments will honor you. Not just individuals. They will look for you regardless your background. They will look for you regardless your limitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God put it in the heart of great men to look for you. May God put it in the heart of helpers to help you. And hear me. I know that our nation is being plagued with a lot of things. Let me speak for one minute. We owe a duty as priests to speak over this nation and over Abuja. I stand by the apostolic. We close the spiritual borders of FCT over terrorists. I decree and declare. That the spiritual borders of the FCT is hereby closed against any activity of terrorism. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as it is closed over this city, it is closed over your home too. No devil of darkness will kidnap you and your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And anybody that vows to become your enemy, quarter to execution, may this dominion covenant fight them. Let me pray over your finances. Please believe it. Among the many indices that measure dominion, second or third only to your spiritual health is your financial level. I am one person who believes that the blessing of the Lord upon a heart that loves Jesus and a mind that is transformed is a blessing indeed. Let me repeat, the blessing of the Lord activated upon a heart that loves Jesus and a mind that is transformed is a blessing indeed. Resources only become a disadvantage and a disaster if they rest in the heart of one who has a heart that does not love Jesus and a mind that is not superior in thinking and because I'm sure of what God has done in your life I speak over you some of you this week in the name of Jesus may my God surprise you financially may my God open strange doors connect you to systems and structures in the name of Jesus Christ and every limitation that has come with lack I decree and declare whether corporately or institutionally be delivered from it now finally let me speak over your body there is a spirit that is sweeping across this nation and regions just killing people using the guise of sickness people will just tell you I'm having stomach ache having this having that and then you just die there are others they look at you and say oh you are this this headache is like that is part of your family i decree and declare every sickness that is locking around your body by the power that raised christ from the dead since this dominion mandate has rested upon you let that sickness leave you now cancer leaves you now high blood pressure leaves you now blindness leaves you now 
blood conditions go now blood pressures are normalized now pile leaves you now bone conditions leave you now in the name of jesus so that you can enjoy health remember dominion is for men spirits that have human bodies and anything that fights your body is fighting the mandate of dominion upon you therefore may your body be perfected the bible says he keepeth his bones and none is broken your bones will not be broken in jesus name i pray wave your hands to jesus and give him all the praise father we bless you in the name of jesus christ bless i pray the King of kings. amen and amen. the lord of lords Jesus, you will be lifted and bless him go ahead and bless him the miracle worker we bless you the lifter of men we bless you the opener of doors we bless you the restorer of time the restorer of things we bless you the healer the deliverer is someone blessing him Ubangiji Nina Doka Kasunanka Ubangiji Kaisaya Nagir Mama Ubangiji We'll raise your banner high We'll shine your light so bright We'll sing in honor of you. We will raise your banner high. We'll shine your light so bright. Sing in honor of you. For who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? Who is this King of glory? The Lord mighty in for thine is the power and the glory the power and forever and ever and ever for thine is the power and the glory forever and ever Amen, amen, amen. Amen, 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 amen. You're prophesying over your life tonight. Amen to the healings. Amen to the miracles. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. To my new season. Amen, 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 amen.
Father, give me an encounter tonight. Please lift your voice and pray. Give me an encounter by your spirit. Give me an encounter even by your spirit. An encounter that will turn my life around. Following online, pray. All the overflows, pray. The King of Glory is in this place. The healer, the lifter, the way maker, restorer. Few more seconds. Bless his name and express your expectation. I have come. Shabarako Saprande Gebalako Shadekate Balakata Vrende Gebalanyata. They looked unto him and their faces were lightened. For in Jesus' name we pray. For in Jesus' name we pray. Father, do wonders in our midst tonight. And let Jesus be glorified. We have come full of expectations. We pray that none of us will return back the same way. In Jesus' name we pray. And demeaning statements, try prayer and intercession are we together now so i want to pray by the privilege of god's grace and standing upon the grace of the fathers i want to pray and release graces and also activate mantles that have been lying dormant in kenya waiting for a generation that understands honor this is a generation that honors jesus honors the father and honors the land you don't have to bring those under the anointing I'll just pray for you. If someone is under the anointing, just help them so they do not injure themselves. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed us and granted us the grace to speak over nations. When the Lord Jesus appeared to me, he told me that every nation and every region he would send me to, there must be someone in that meeting that the light that came from him to me must be transferred to that person. Therefore, I stand by the privilege of this apostolic and prophetic office. I stand upon the rod of a higher priesthood and I decree and declare, let the healing anointing right now, let it fall upon you. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Healing wells over Kenya be open as it was in the days of the fathers. Healing wells be open. Become a stream that brings healing to the nation. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the prophetic mantle, authentic prophetic ministry. My God, receive that grace right now. Prophets, arise in the spirit and the power of Elijah. The eyes that see, the ears that hear, I activate it right now. For those of you who have been working in the prophetic, greater fire, greater opportunity, the eyes that see in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of revelation, access and insight into the mysteries of the kingdom. My goodness, this one is coming on many people. May this mantle come upon you now. Take that grace right now. Spiritual illumination. Access to the mysteries of the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus. From the back to the front. From the left to the right. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. There are watchmen that must rise upon your wall. He said, I have set watchmen upon your wall. The men that will give him no rest until Kenya becomes that which you saw in your vision. Until Kenya becomes that which was prophesied. There are many people right now, the spirit of prayer, 
an intercession I prayed it yesterday but I'm praying right now at the count of three let it mantle homes let it mantle churches one two three take that grace now prayer fire upon your altar let your churches become a house of prayer in the name of Jesus let your homes become altars of prayer hallelujah I want to pray and release a grace that many people have not studied and understood its value it's called the grace for influence and visibility listen influence I told you yesterday is a very expensive commodity you can use influence to kill and you can use influence to build the Bible says in John 17 and verse 1 Jesus lifted up his head to heaven and he said father the hour has come glorify now thy son that thy son may bring glory to you the only way God is glorified is when his church is lifted I want to pray there are many of you who have come from your lowly estate but this mantle is about to meet you like Esther and take you to the palace so that you will preserve God's people from the hands of her man Lord I am praying upon every man woman boy and girl here in Kenya let that grace for visibility rest upon you now I pray for businesses and corporations find that grace in the name of Jesus corporate organizations in addition to the value that you provide may this grace rest upon you those in government I decree and declare may that grace rest upon you mighty God someone praying you're praying that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened you are praying that that which has been apportioned from the womb of eternity be delivered to you tonight pray without distraction pray fixing your eyes on Jesus the author and the finisher of your faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and despised the shame you're opening up your spirit even in prayer the bible says and as they prayed and fasted the holy ghost said to them as they worshipped and as they prayed and fasted the Holy Ghost said to them oh come oh come me man well and run some captive Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, me, man, well. Will you run some captive Israel? Rejoice, rejoice, man, well. He has come to you, he's Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel. You have come to us, your Israel. We rejoice. 
rejoice in my new has come to us his is you have come to me your Israel Will you speak to me Your Israel Majesty we worship you We bless you from everlasting to everlasting Your name be praised extolled and exalted even among and above the nations thank you jesus we bless you and we ask that you will speak to us tonight even by your spirit for the bible declares that the entrance of your word gives light and understanding unto the simple we humble ourselves before you and we open up our hearts to learn in Jesus name we pray father we confess even before the nations that except and unless you speak there is no guarantee to our becoming there is no guarantee to our having there is no guarantee to our empowerment except at the instance of your word we come before you respecting the ministry of your spirit we come before you respecting the ministry of the word and we pray that again you would bless us tonight in the name of Jesus many have come from far and near carrying with them burdens carrying with them expectations lord i decree and declare that every one of these needs be met tonight in the name of jesus let your word come with fire build us empower us even by your spirit and to you be all the glory for in jesus name we have i'm releasing my faith in partnership with the faith of all of our fathers of faith here and we're agreeing as a united kenya that in the name of jesus these egyptians you see that you will see them no more forever go ahead and begin to pray in the name of jesus christ unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come is someone praying please pray We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Yahweh. shall reign forever he shall reign hallelujah please stretch your hands towards me and begin to declare you are not only praying for yourself you are praying for kenya go ahead and pray father in the name of jesus we bring before you the requests of your people tens of thousands of them Arise, oh God, and show mercy. Go ahead and pray.
of Jesus I speak to you prophetically that these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus you will see them no more forever I stand upon this prayer request prophetically everything that has pressed you down the same way it is under my feet let it be under your feet in the name of Jesus every long-standing issue I bring it under the feet of the cross and by the power that raised Christ from the dead I release testimonies I release testimonies I release testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ prayer point number one just two prayer points for tonight prayer point number one you are going to ask the God of heaven that this this that was listed the six keys that represent the price for new and superior dimensions that the grace be given to you from heaven to walk in keeping with every one of these go ahead and lift your voice and pray the Bible says now that ye know these things happy are you if you do them is someone praying I obtain grace in the name of Jesus Christ I obtain grace by the power of the Holy Spirit I obtain grace in the name of Jesus Christ the price of a deeper experience with God the price of unbending focus the price of greater enlightenment the price of greater contribution and productivity the price of strategic connections and finally the price of humility go ahead and pray father I obtain grace I am set for the new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ I am set for a new level in my faith adventure a new level in my destiny a new level in the spirit final prayer point in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit acceleration to my destiny even for the next level go ahead and pray spiritual acceleration financial acceleration in the name of Jesus Lord bring me speedily satisfy me early even with your mercy greater levels of power greater levels of illumination greater levels in ministry greater levels in every area of my life I will excel in my priesthood I will excel as far as dominion is concerned wisdom to operate in the cosmos in the name of Jesus as I declare over your life this week beginning for you will be a week full of testimonies as you put that which you have heard to practice in the name of Jesus I pray that God who is a lifter of men will lift you to new and strange dimensions I declare over you if you came to church tonight with anything that is an issue of concern in the name of Jesus the son of the living God it drops right now I declare that you walk in liberty I declare that you walk in favor I pray for your spiritual life tonight if there is anything that is fighting your prayer life fighting your word study life fighting your passion and your commitment for spiritual things let it fall off like Dagon before the ark in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you you will find access to information materials that will grant you superior understanding in the name of Jesus and for those of you who came here trusting God to visit you and open doors for you in one area or the other I declare the doors open now I place a mark upon you and I call it the mark of exemption I place a mark upon you and I call it a mark of favor I place a mark upon you in the name of Jesus may you find help in the mighty name of Jesus you will not die you have no covenant with the grave in the name of Jesus 
and they that have been anointed and appointed to hold your hands and help you in the name of jesus christ i engage their ministry over your life in the mighty name of jesus if you came here with any burden any concern maybe a financial burden bills on your neck there's something that is taking away your joy like nehemiah i stand representing the king of kings and i decree and declare the same way the king granted nehemiah favor in the name of jesus heaven is smiling upon you with answers for in jesus name we pray from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be our Lord one more time from the rising of the sun to the setting father give me a destiny altering encounter tonight go ahead and pray let my life shift in the name of jesus radically transform my life by the power of your word someone pray you are going from strength to strength tonight you are stepping into another dimension of grace tonight speak to our hearts dear lord can you pray in the spirit for one minute to charge and open up your heart to hear and receive mighty god in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ touch my body my soul my spirit breathe on me touch my body my soul my spirit breathe on me you are the holy ghost the Holy Ghost, you are the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, take your place, take your place, take your place. hallelujah father in the name of jesus your church will stand the end of time the test of time pray for every man of god pray for every politician pray for every captain of industry who names the name of the lord pray for every professional pray for every family i'd like you to pray lift your voice and pray particularly for us men of god particularly for us men of god pray for every church you know lord grant grace we cry and we pray mercy we we pray and we cry that you continually show us mercy is someone praying pray for the church we pray for the church in the north we pray for the church in the south we pray for the church in the east we pray for the church in the west we pray for christian politicians we pray for christian businessmen we pray for christian ambassadors we pray for christian homes we pray for christian children we pray for christian institutions in the name of jesus may we indeed be that purified bride we pray for mercy less judgment comes upon us we pray for mercy in the name of jesus help those who are wounded 
help those who have fallen help those who are broken give them a chance to rise again in the name of jesus strengthen those who are standing that they continue to stand through the years go ahead and pray in the name of jesus now pray for koinonia father in the name of jesus the grace to stand the test of time the grace to continually communicate your truth with fire the grace to lead people to jesus the grace to do our best as far as the mandate given to us is concerned pray for any man of god you know who is wounded pray for those who have fallen pray for those who are going through all kinds of things right now lord the grace to be able to flog it out with destiny so that they rise back as champions and that in the name of jesus we pray that the body of christ will not lose any precious vessel in the name of jesus we pray for mercy pray for those who are already doomed for judgment in the name of jesus we intercede as watchmen lord let mercy speak in the name of jesus let mercy speak for in jesus name we pray father we thank you for tonight you have helped us you have chastised us you have commended us you have pruned us to the end that we be people of stature to the end that we be people of balance indeed to the end that we be your purified church lord jesus christ i pray for myself i pray for koinonia i pray for every man of god that our faith can extend to we pray for every church every apostolic every prophetic platform every man who ministers the name of christ in nigeria in africa across the world lord we pray for those who are already in deviation by the spirit of god bring them back to alignment in the name of jesus christ we pray for those who are standing lord grant the humility and the grace to continue to stand in the name of jesus we pray for anyone who is doomed for judgment that the judgment of god is already hovering around their life we pray in the name of jesus by your mercy you will restrain your hand in the name of jesus we pray for every man of god every church every businessman every politician everyone in the body that names the name of christ who satan has or is taking advantage of or plotting their downfall or destruction in the name of jesus their plans will fail by the power of the holy ghost we declare that the church is standing strong our homes are standing strong every man of god is standing strong every denomination is standing strong every christian family is standing strong every christian politician is standing strong every christian professional is standing strong in the name of jesus christ it may be the practice of witchcraft and extra biblical practices it may be pride vain glory and self-centeredness for you it may be the sin of the tongue you have brought pain to several people by your speakings for someone it may be competition and unhealthy comparison and yet for another and even for many it may be trivializing and refusing to embrace the whole counsel of god it doesn't matter where i like you to pray go ahead and cry to the lord one minute please pray Is someone praying? I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the King 
of kings you are the lord of lords your glorious majesty mercy O god upon my life pray for your children pray for your spouse pray for koinonia pray for joshua selman pray for every man of god you know and love pray for the body of christ we stand as responsible people and we cry to the god who shows mercy we desire to be that purified bride that purified church no prophetic decrees or wrong decrees it says say not before an angel i made a mistake is someone pray let the redeemed of the lord say so the bible declares in prayer what things soever ye desire when ye pray most of us have lost the art of prayer genuine prayer commanding power with god in prayer and prophetic declar declarations many of us are full of negative statements we speak negatively about ourselves our children negatively about others negatively about situations and circumstances our words are not faith-filled it's time to change your confession it has to be as the word of god says the ministry of prayer the ministry of prophetic declaration someone is praying and finally i'd like you to pray father the level of anointing that must rest upon my life from tonight to activate dominion practically in my life i receive it i receive it i receive it my home must reflect dominion my job must reflect dominion my cooperation must reflect dominion you're a man of god pray I must see dominion expressed in the work that the Lord has committed to my hands. Tired of being a victim of situations and circumstances. Dearly beloved, I hope you are blessed by this message. Do not keep the vision to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. The face of development.